when the war did begin in 1180, the Mino Morda clan began to challenge and even overthrow several places that were under the Tower clan authority and rule. So the Tower clan launched an attack near Mount Fuji. So the Mino Morda clan responded with an army force of over 200,000 soldiers. On top of that, they, had, they even had rebel forces join the Mino Morda clan that were against Tower clan authority. The Tar clan only had about 70,000 soldiers on hand. Seeing how they were outnumbered, the Tar clan then retreated. The Minwon clan did not pursue the retreaters. They instead um, remained where they were at to refocus or focus on the uh, their almost near complete control of eastern Japan. In 1191, Tar no Kirimori, which is this person over here in this painting, died of a fever leaving his son, Tar no Tomori, to lead the Tar clan. So, Tomori, like his father, was a very skilled commander, and he was able to defeat the Minamoto clan in several places, one being against Minamoto no Yurimasa in 1180, and Minamoto no Yuki in 1181 at the Sunomata River. The Tar clan continued the warpath, and began to burn down temples that were in support of the Minamoto clan. Some of these temples being the Njoji, Todachi, and Kofukuji. The Kofukuji being the temple of the Fujiwara clan. This in turn caused the Fujiwara clan to have a hatred towards the Tara clan. So in essence joined the Minamoto clan. So not only do you have fighting across Japan, disrupting day to day life of citizens, you have kinfolk fighting one another but you have also natural disasters happening since basically the start of this war. So in 1180, a typhoon hits Japan. Then, uh, two years after that, plague and famine across Japan. So this disrupts both sides. And then, to stop it all off, towards the end of the war in 1184, an earthquake happens in Japan to shake things up more. So if all these natural disasters did not happen, essentially, the war would have finished far more quickly and things would have been done with probably not so much bloodshed. But what can you do when you have natural disasters happening? You know, you have to put a halt to certain uh, war efforts and, and certain territorial claims. In 1183, Yorotomi, Yorotomo's cousin, Kiso Yoshinaka, caused more trouble for the Tara clan. By overtaking their army in the Kiso Mountains, while Yorotomi himself was handling the Tara clan at the Kanto region, with uh, the year 1183 going on, the Minamoto clan had occupied the region of Kyoto and causing Tomori, Antuku, and the other uh, Tar clan members to flee the area. And throughout this point, too, an ambitious Yoshinaka then declared himself the Shogun, uh, which means overall ruler, the one person head in charge of everything. So, this is where the family drama continues on. Yoritomo, being the leader of the Mon Minamoto clan decided he had to deal with his cousin. It was just becoming too much to handle, too ambitious, too power hungry. And he enacted a plan to assassinate his cousin. He was then, Yoshinaka was then defeated twice in battle at Yuji and Seta. And this defeat caused the suicide of Yoshinaka. So up to this point right now, up to the middle of the war, with all these war efforts, other than natural disasters, but the the territorial claims now by Minamoto clan defeated Tar clan. Uh, Yoshitomo has now Yoritomo has now strengthened his power. He has given back the land that was confiscated by Tar clan back to the temples, and he's even treating his prisoners kindly. You know, no torture, no starving, or anything. He's being nice to whichever war prisoners he has, and he's even gained recognition by Go Shirokara. So, like I said, we're at the middle point of the war now. Stay tuned for the final part where we discuss the final years of the war along with the aftermath. And I suppose you're wondering why I'm wearing the samurai armor along with the katana. That's because the Genpei War is more than just a civil war, more than just a family dispute for the claim to the throne of Japan. This is essentially how samurai warriors, this is when they become that dynasty, that samurai warrior dynasty continues from here. You know, you have the creation of the armor first, 
then you have the, the creation of the katana made for the samurai so from here on out after this war ends which we'll get into later on this is this is the reason why i'm wearing this is just to show and i'm missing some parts like the arm guards the face masks go to the horns uh but you have the thigh guards you know the rest of the chase uh, chest plate and everything so i just thought it'd be nice to dress up a little bit in retrospect of what we're learning here so thank you all for paying attention see you all next time stay safe stay healthy look forward to uh, being here at the museum with us whenever we get the chance see you all next time thank you